Igor, many congratulations. It, 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 we could see out of the table how much it meant to you to commit it, to compose yourself. Just sum up your emotions after that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, really, I need you just, I speak to God, thank you very much for never give up. Believe you every time myself, my family, give you a lot of support. Really, I think the best moment this two seasons for me, this moment. But I'm very sad also because I play my brother. Pep Chaya is my brother for my heart. Really happy because of one, but really, I feeling I beat my, my brother, you know. And, and he, yeah, he, he's an incredible player as well, Tep Chaya, isn't he? So to be able to, to you know, Put, put your friendship aside and, and play some of the, you know, the, the fantastic snooker that you did tonight to get over the line. You must be very proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, it's a nervous game because practice a, a lot together. You know, my big points or no big points there. Uh, I'm very fun because he kill ball control, his kill ball control saves this game. Yeah. Unbelievable, fantastic. Yeah, no, number 19, I think, uh, nearly top 16. Maybe top 16 next season. Yes, an amazing player. And you're now just one match away from the Crucible. Just how much of a, a dream and how, how much would it mean to you to, to get there? Yes, big dream, big dream. Because I won yeah, one tournament to play in Crucible before for seniors, but changed the rules. But this moment, maybe I don't sleep today to think about this. <laughs> It's a first dreams because everyone that's I think the big dream is world champion, but my dreams visit one time is Crucible because first Sul America player possible to visit the first time Crucible. It's a big dream, is the feeling and they're happy because I have crowned I think this season. Yeah, uh I don't know explain how uh, just stay my dreams. It's now nearly real. <laughs> Neil Robertson spoke in the past about the sacrifices that he's made coming over from Australia and how difficult that's been. It, it's, it's been the same from you, for you coming over from Brazil. Could just give us an idea of, of the sacrifices you've had to make to, to get to where you are now. Yes, a lot of sacrifice because I have uh, some sponsors, no sponsors, but giving me a lot of support. You know, uh, my Pabza, Jokari, uh, CBBS, friends. But I don't have real sponsor to give me a lot of support. And I need a lot of sacrifice because I need living here to improve my level. I miss a lot of my dream, uh, my, my wife, my, my children. I have uh, two daughters and one son. I miss a lot every day. I see pictures. And I get power from this for to survive and be working hard. I work in 10 hours a day these last two months for this tournament. Uh, sometimes painful a lot in my body because really I work so hard for this moment. And so, so how much would it mean for you to be able to, to pay them back and for them to be able to see you walk out on the, on the sport's biggest stage? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't know. Explain this moment, really. I don't know. I wanna. I I really want a lot. I hungry to win the my my next match for to to this to to this feeling. And it's been a, a remarkable journey for you because, of course, in Brazil, it's snooker is a bit different, isn't it? There's only ten foot tables in Brazil, and I believe you'd only played on it a full size snooker table the yeah. first time in two thousand and nine. Yeah. So. Yeah. In Brazil, uh, 10 feet and uh, a lot, a lot similar English pool, uh, but uh, Brazilian rules, very popular in Brazil. I just started to play snooker, you, maybe you don't believe, in 2009, 32 years old. I never played full size in my life. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy for, for, to improve, because I think I improve a lot. Because this tournament, World Two, have amazing players. I just started 32 years old. Believe in myself, working hard now. I'm still here. I'm feeling star player. 
And you're, you're through to Judgment Day, you know, one of the biggest rounds in the season. You, you, and I'm sure you'd be flying the flag for Brazil. And, and I suppose, will that be a big motivation for you to try and be that first Brazilian player to, to go out of the Crucible? Yeah, not only Brazilian players, but invite our Americas because now I'm working uh, together also PABSA, Pan America Snooker Association, yeah, to improve snooker in Americas, everywhere in America, put in school, mini academies. I want to invite everyone, maybe go to Crucible, come, give me support, I need it. <laughs> and how easy in that last game will it, will it be to keep your emotions in check and, and keep your eyes on the prize? Yeah, after a feeling, oh my God, just breathe. Every shot, just breathe, breathe because too much emotion. I don't know, I need to eat or, or cry or I don't know because I work a lot for this moment. And the after, just, I just remember God to speak thank you for, for this moment, to, to give me this moment. Well, Igor, we wish you all the best and well done tonight. Thank you very much.